Hi everyone, welcome to this new video where I will explain how you can connect a PowerHead uh, Bluetooth keyboard to uh, a Linux environment. So actually I decided to uh, go for this keyboard when I uh, break uh, the keypad, uh, which were the E, the D and the C of my keyboard. And uh, as you can see within the description here, it's uh, supported for Android, Windows, iOS, but not saying anything about Linux. So when I bought it, actually, it was not uh, working for Linux, and I found um, a workaround. So basically, when I tried actually to connect uh, over here through um, the, let's say, the Bluetooth environment, it was telling me that actually uh, it was not uh, configured, but through this panel, I could not access to it. So what you need to do is, of course, uh, it depends of your computer, but probably uh, some of you do not have any Bluetooth component within their computer. So in my case, uh, I had to add uh, to buy actually a Bluetooth dongle. And then uh, what you need to do is actually you need to install uh, Blueman on uh, your computer. And I mean, that's what I did. And uh, with Blueman, you get uh, the Blueman manager. And it's through the Blueman manager that actually you can make it work. So in my case, it did not work the first time. So I had actually to remove uh, from the manager here, the, the poor had uh, Bluetooth keyboard, and then I needed to uh, restart uh, my uh, Ubuntu. And then by uh, reinstalling my Ubuntu, I went back actually on this uh, Bluetooth Blueman manager. I click here on search, and then it found out the poor had. Uh, then I had to, uh, to pair it, and once I did that, I got this uh, human interface device service uh, HD window, which appeared. And then actually my uh, my keyboard started uh, started to work. And I had the possibility actually to, to use it. So as you can see now, my mouse is, is moving and it's just coming from, from this keyboard, as you can, as you can see. Uh, so hope it will help because it took me probably something like an hour in order to figure that out. So just to uh, remember, install Blueman, go to Blueman Manager, uh, remove it, and uh, restart your computer. And then when you restart your computer, uh, you just add it back, you pair it, and uh, it should be fine. Thanks for watching.